Not long after reaching the river, Captain Urban chose to forego the relative safety of the command post, and he chose to lead the men of the 2nd Battalion forward himself. He identified an opportunity to attack the Germans head-on at their strongest point and took personal command of the attack. The 2nd Battalion advanced across open terrain with little cover, and Captain Urban sustained a life-threatening neck injury. This injury made it impossible for him to speak above a whisper, but Captain Urban wouldn't allow this to be an excuse to remove him from the field of combat. His words carried weight in their substance rather than in their volume, and Captain Urban continued to pass along orders as he refused to be evacuated until the 2nd Battalion secured the crossing point across the river.